coming through from the inside out. Fela of Switzerland, Tekin Turkey, Riki Great Britain, Power Island, Donnychuk of Ukraine and Bello on the outside of Italy. And Bello also a very good runner indeed. So I'm expecting a battle on paper between Riki, Power and Bello for those two qualifying positions. We'll bring you up to date on the circumstances behind the first heat winner, Balan, possibly being disqualified. We are hearing information that she has been disqualified. Anyway, at this stage, though, it's uh, 200 metres down, and it's Elena Bello, a very good Italian, is best under 203. And she's leading the way. She's decided to take the pace. Riki just watching everything that's happening in front of her as the end of the home straight for the first time. Still the pack all bunched together. Keep an eye on the split. But Riki looking very comfortable at this stage. So too Bello and Power. That's the one, two, three at the moment. This is much faster than the previous two races. 61.98. Uh, makes a lot of sense because they know what they need to do and Bello I think making sure that if she doesn't make it into the first two she's running fast enough to actually get through as a non-fast non-automatic qualifier so we're coming up with just over 200 meters to, to go it's Bello, Riki and Power and just behind them the Frenchwoman Candice Noonan and the rest of the runners Straggling back behind them and starting to be now daylight between themselves and the first four. Now Riki takes the lead, going round the outside of Bello. Bello still running very well, Power chasing her down. Power very good on paper, uh, top runners. But Riki looking very, very calm and relaxed as she strides away to the line. Rather more laboured running style of Nadia Power, but it brings her through into second place. And Bello in fourth, and a much faster heat than the previous two, just outside 204. In which case, I think Elena Bello's tactics of leading and taking it out hard over the first 400, 500 meters were absolutely right. Yes, she's qualified, there's no doubt about it. She's got through as a non automatic qualifier, but Riki 204.74, Power 205.36. One and two in the by far and away the fastest of the three heats. Bello gets through as a non-automatic qualifier as well. And I think Fela, who got a personal best in fourth, is also going to join them in the final, but that's subject to confirmation. So we keep an eye, especially with the splits from the first heat. A very tall figure. Uh, Brink, you should get a few cheers, I would imagine. Uh, Ellen Brink of Sweden, currently in second place as Kovber, slightly more leaner, diminutive figure, the Ukraine runner in front, and Riki just very, very well positioned behind her. See the tall figure of Lucia Rodriguez, the Spaniard who lives about two kilometers from where I do. And I regularly see her running down the road in not far from my home. So a big shout out for Lucia. But it's cover at the front at the moment. Followed home by Brink. Coming up to the 400 meter mark. This is quicker, this is a good 10 seconds. Quicker than the first heat, 69.38. So still Kovba and Brink. With Cotter of Ireland tucked in on the inside. Riki, very, very well positioned indeed. And then the very diminutive figure of Berku Subatan on the inside, the Turk. With the Turkish insignia headscarf. Very evenly matched at the moment. Nobody making any audacious moves or big breaks. Rodriguez coming around the outside. 
Afonso seemingly just tiring a little bit, the Portuguese runner, struggling a little bit, trying to find a way out. Now it's Rodriguez, 700 meters. Rodriguez hits the front. Rodriguez, one of the better athletes in this race, number nine on the European list this year. Somebody who might be having ambitions of getting through as an automatic qualifier, along with Riki alongside her on her outside. So 2.24.46. So I have a feeling that the vast majority, if not all, of the non-automatic qualifiers will be coming from this heat. Kovba doing the right thing, keeping the pace quite honest. All right. Cherubini moving to the front, the Italian. A bit of squabbling for space. We saw there, really bunched together there, trying to get themselves in the best possible position. Well, this is a very, very decent pace compared to the first race. A few of the back markers now struggling a little bit as they come up to hear the bell. And it's Riki in front, Afonso on the outside. Subatan of Turkey in third place at the moment. On the inside, the second Portuguese runner, Silva. And it's starting to string out and the pace is really starting to pick up. Riki making a charge for home. Hasn't really gone through the gears yet. It's going to be a busy few days for Riki. Afonso, the slight, more slightly built of the two Portuguese runner, now up on the outside of Riki. 250 metres to go. Riki on the inside for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Afonso on her outside. Subatan of Turkey in third place at the moment with Silva in fourth. Rodriguez in fifth. Only four to go through as automatic qualifiers from this race. Now daylight starting to appear between the leading pair and then Subatan in third. Silva in fourth. Rodriguez working hard. Jewel the Dane in sixth at the moment. But this is a much faster race than the first heat. Afonso moving out into lane two, having a clear sight of the line. Riki just looks as though she's just easing home. Afonso takes the win, but Riki gets through comfortably. And in third, I'm pretty sure it was Silva, but it was a fast finishing for fourth. We'll wait for confirmation who took the fourth automatic qualifying spot. I think Cherubini found another gear and came through very quickly for that fourth spot. Yes. I'm almost certain that all four non-automatic qualifiers will come through from this heat. But the win goes to Salome Afonso of Portugal in 4.21.16. Gemma Riki, just over a tenth further back, 4.21.35. Riki visibly easing up over the final 50 metres. Yep. She's now over two laps of the track. Outside, Nadia Power. Poland's Angelica Sana. Now the leading European. Didn't look so great in the heat. And I'm talking with people. I believe she's carrying a slight ankle problem. Alana Bello of Italy on her inside. Now Gemma Ricci looks so good in qualification and going for a double, a middle distance double. But has apparently been struggling to find a form with that slight ankle injury in recent weeks. But she didn't look great in qualifying. However, the Britons, Jemmy, Gemma Ricci and Ellie Baker certainly did. Well, just coming up as we then head for the inside of the track. It's the very tall Guyana who does cut across, but Baker up there as well. Alucha on the inside. Well, rather sedentary pace here through the first 200 meters, approximately 30 seconds. So it's Baker leading the way on the inside. Riki up there as well. Guyana, Guyana over. Well, power out in front. Well, Riki now avoiding getting boxed, going round the long way, out in lane three. Look at that, five, six abreast, and there's certainly some 
pushing and shoving there, tangling of the arms. 65-85, this isn't going to be a fast race, nor do we necessarily expect it at championship level, but it's Ellie Baker still living, leading the way. And Gabriela Guyano uh, up alongside her with Nadine Power now drifting back to third on the inside. Gemma Riki still out wide, but she's staying out of trouble. The diminutive figure of the Italian Bello just between them, Elana Bello. So now it's going to start cranking up. Two meters from home, 200 meters from home. Ellie Baker and Gemma Riki now really going through the gears. Riki now heading for home and has put two meters between herself and Ellie Baker. Riki working so hard down the home straight. Guyanova starting to move as well, but I think she's just left it all too late because Gemma Riki is just running away with this race and takes the gold medal. It's a one-two for Britain, and I think a completely unexpected bronze for Ireland. Nadine Power holding her form on the inside, holding off Gabriela Guyanova, and that indeed is confirmed on the ticker. Gemma Riki wins over 800 metres, and she'll be going for gold over 1,500 metres tomorrow. Ellie Baker hangs on for the silver. Well, there was no stopping Riki once she hit the front with 200 meters to go. Long hair flowing behind her, trailing in a wake. And we knew it would be a burn up in that last 400 meters after we saw that first lap. And Riki, I felt, was always going to get it with the kick. Confirmation of the results. Great Britain 1 and 2, Ireland 3. Riki takes the gold with 205.19. Undoubtedly, Gemma Riki is also the European under-20 champion, already has gold in the 800 metres. And you know what? I think that will just put a spring in her step. But van der Elst, also a quality athlete. So the women's 1500 metre final is underway. Other athletes to watch out for. Marta Zanoni of Italy, perhaps. She was third at the World Youth Championships in Colombia in 2015. Lucia Rodriguez, one or two good Spaniards. Uh, of course, they won gold in the men's 1500 meters last night. That was an incredible finish to that race. Ignacio Fontes came through in the end. They were running almost five abreast coming to the home straight. Another highlight from these championships. I think it was Piers Copeland who came darting through inside the now on the inside. So, Afonso of uh, Portugal, also featuring at the front in these early stages, alongside her teammate Patricia Silva. Afonso, 4.11 runner this year. So slightly cagey through the opening stages as they come through with three laps to go, 58.44 on the clock. Well, which is interesting, Phil, in the 800 meters, we thought that it might be close between Gemma Riki, Ellie Baker, Gajanova as well. And in the end, it was reasonably comfortable for Gemma Riki. She just seemed to deal with whatever the competition had to throw at her. Well, I think the only person who could challenge Gemma Riki is actually not here. And that's the great German Constance Klosterhalfen, who recently set a European record over 3,000 metres. Klosterhalfen somewhat sadly, deciding to give this event a miss. Well, Riki just bided her time in the 800 meters, and it's looking as though she's gonna do that here. She could really just tear the heart out of this field and just take it by the scruff of the neck. I mean, there's nobody else, frankly, who have got the credentials of Riki. And here we see her coming around the outside, just going past Cotter of Ireland and getting herself to the front. Afonso, who's impressive in the heats. I mean, she's just following around, tracking Riki. It's just a question of waiting and seeing when Riki decides to go for it. We've seen so much bunching together in these middle distance finals. Cotter of Ireland on the outside. They have uh, two middle distance medals from these championships already. Nadia Power behind uh, Riki and her teammate Ellie Baker in the women's 800 and also I think Flanagan it was in the women's steeplechase as well. Cotter's right on the outside. Gemma Riki looking composed in the center there. She's got Mega of uh, Holland, who was also in that position in the qualifying round. That seems to be her favorite spot 
4.14 she has run this year. Once again, so close. We've seen a few elbows, a few pushes at times across quite a few middle distance races. And once again, looking a little bit tactical, but you feel as though Gemma Riki and possibly Van der Elst as well are well positioned. Afonso once again right into lane three as they come through with one lap to go. So often a trigger for someone to really inject a bit of pace. It could be a burn up in this last 400 meters. Cotter of Ireland now emerging at the front. Who's going to time this one to perfection? Gemma Riki, well, she doubled up at the European under 20s a couple of years ago, came away with a gold and fourth place. Can she get on two podiums this time around? Once again, Afonso emerges almost into lane four here. Riki from Cotter, Zanoni and Van der Elst. Hull's going to get on that podium. Riki now starting to kick. Van der Elst responding. One of the Italians there, I think it might be Zanoni in third place at the moment. Mega gritting her teeth. Here comes Gemma Riki. Van der Els looks down at the track. Riki over her shoulder. She's going to come through. Surely now down this home straight. A double gold medalist at these European Under-23 Championships. Punches the air in delight. What a fabulous, world-class middle distance runner Gemma Riki is proving to be. Sensational stuff from the Scot. 422.81 has come up. Well, silver goes to Elise van der Elst of Belgium and bronze to Maria Zanone of Italy. Zanone, well, she was the second best in this final behind Riki, around four seconds slower on paper. Riki, despite the fact that she had three good races in her legs, you know, there was just no way that anybody else, barring accidents, was going to get close to her. And it was just a question of when was Riki going to hit the front. Van der Elst courageously chased her for a while, but then Riki surged again. And Van der Elst, well, gets a very deserved silver medal. But Riki's the class act. And Zanone of Italy comes through for the bronze. Mega of... Poland, who did a lot of the work in the early stage of the race, briefly got up on the shoulder of Zanoni as she battled for the bronze, and then the tall Italian pulled away. But, well, as the saying goes, it's Scotland the brave. Gemma Riki, she bravely hit the front and was never headed. 